this is my first vlog ever, so I'm kind of nervous, so give me some slack. Um, I'm going to do a wrap-up of the month of August, which has been amazing. I did so many book reviews and some blog tours and giveaways, and it was a great month. And then I discovered the new adult genre, which I'm totally in love with right now. So I'm just going to show you some of my favorite books that I read in the month of August, some of which I've reviewed and some of which I have not reviewed yet. And then I'll show you some of the books that I'm hoping to read in September. So let's get started. First, I have Black City. Um, I actually only just finished reading this book like two days ago and I absolutely loved it. I have not reviewed it yet since it doesn't come out until like um, October, I believe, but it was so good. It was about vampires, sort of. They're called darklings, um, and they live in this world with humans, but they're divided by this big wall, and then a human falls in love with a darkling, and it's awesome, guys. It's so great, and I'm really excited for the second book, which probably doesn't come out for a million years, but... Oh well. Next, I have Throne of Glass. This is by Sarah J. Moss. And, oh, wow, I was looking forward to this book for like a million years. So when I finally got it, I actually got an arc of it. I won it from another blogger, but then I had to buy a finished copy because it's just so gorgeous. And it has this insanely beautiful map that was actually drawn um, by one of her fans and they used it for the final book. So that's so cool. Um, so this is an amazing fantasy story and if you haven't read it, please go out and read it. It's like an assassin. She falls in love with the prince, but then there's like this love triangle and there's all this palace intrigue and a lot of people compare it to Game of Thrones and I actually didn't like Game of Thrones that much. I felt like there were too many characters I just didn't care about. And I don't know, it was way too long and dragged on, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like Throne of Glass is everything Game of Thrones was supposed to be for me. It, it was, it's amazing. It's one of my all-time favorite books. And I think there's supposed to be six of them in the series, which is so great. So that's exciting. Next, I have Legends by Mary Lou. I really love this one because... I mean, I had seen it around a lot on blogs and Goodreads and whatnot, but I always, I don't know, I never gave it much attention because I don't really like the cover that much. I think it's kind of boring, sorry. Um, but I finally read it because everyone was like, you have to read it. And I did, and I loved it, and it was so great. And ah, I need to read Prodigy, which is the second one. It comes out in like, um, I think January 29th-ish. Um, so it's a dystopian book, and it's great. I love it. Huh. And I actually also won the Comic-Con edition from another blogger, which I don't have right now. It's downstairs. Too lazy to go get it. But, yeah, I love this book. And it's also, it's really cool because it's told from two points of view. And one of the characters, all his chapters are told... Um, well, the text for his chapters are in, like, this gold ink, which is so cool. And you, you probably can't really tell on the video. It's, it's, I swear, it's gold. It's cool. Live it. Love it. Um, so I actually have two others, but I can't really show them. One of them was an e-arc of Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. And, oh, oh my god. That book, it just ah, ah, blew my life away. It's gorgeous. I love it. I need a paperback right now, please. Yeah, okay. Um, and then I also read Delirium by Lauren Oliver. And I actually do have a hardback of that, but my bookshelves are like, like they have two rows. I don't even know if this makes sense. It's like I have a bookshelf, and then I have like a row in the back, and like another row of books, and I'm pretty sure Delirium was in the back row, and I just couldn't go fishing out for it because I'm lazy. But it's great. It's about like a dystopian world where love is considered a disease, and it like has to be cured, and um, 
you get the cure when you reach like a certain age or something. And then right before the main character is going to get the cure, she falls in love. So it's, mm, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the books that I'm hoping I'll get to read in September. Hopefully, I mean, my, I always plan to read books and then it doesn't work out or whatever. So keep your fingers crossed that we get these done. The first is Beta by Rachel Cohn. This is a cool book and it feels cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I have read some mixed things about this, um, but I don't care because it's pretty and it sounds cool. I think it's like, um, um, ew, back is kind of gross. Okay. Um, it's about like this girl who's created in the laboratory, but I think she like starts having real feelings or something, which she isn't supposed to have. So it's like, she's, I don't know. Sounds cool, okay. <laughs> I promise. Okay. Um, Midnight City. Yes, this is pretty. I love it. Okay, I got this. Um, this is actually the first book I won on Library Things um, Early Reviewers Program, which is ooh, so excited. Okay, so this is like, um, well, they say it's the Lord of the Flies meets War of the Worlds. It's like a post-apocalyptic world, and then aliens come, and they're, like, all over the place and controlling things. And I think they, like, steal all the adults, and then, like, there's these teenagers left to fend for themselves, and, like, it sounds cool. And I hope to get this one done, because I have to write a review for it, but it doesn't get released until, like, October 30th, so I got time. Yeah, not worried. Okay, these next two books, I actually swapped with another blogger for them. Which is really exciting because I really wanted these books but I kind of like ugh, you know I buy too many books and I didn't want to buy them but now I got them and that's great okay the first one is article 5 okay I love dystopian books and this one it sounds so cool and the cover is cool too it's like a city but it's all like in ruins and like decaying and it's it's really cool. So yeah, this is sort of like, I actually was describing all these books to my boyfriend to try to figure out which one I should read first, and he said it was sounded like V for Vendetta, which is, I saw that movie a long time ago, but I can't really remember that much about it. Oh, yeah, I'm embarrassed. Okay, so yeah, it's like, um, they say New York, Los Angeles, and Washington, D.C. have been abandoned. The Bill of Rights has been revoked and replaced with the moral statuses. Statutes. Yeah, some word with an S. It's embarrassing that I can't pronounce. Okay, um, this one sounds cool because it's like, you know, dystopian and it's like a, seems like corrupt government kind of thing and everyone's getting arrested and then people disappear and it sounds pretty crazy and everyone says it's insanely good. So, yes. Okay, next, Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. And remember I was talking about Delirium. This is book two. So I've heard it's really, really good. Even some people who didn't like the first book said they absolutely loved this one. So it's great. Um, I think there's supposed to be a lot of rebellion in this, like, you know, fighting against the government and, or I want to fall in love. Yes. Okay. I'm like concerned though, because yeah, I'm concerned about the love interest because I think there's a new guy that comes in and so, that scares me a little bit. I know. Okay, and then I also have a lot of ebooks that I'm hoping to read. Um, because, yeah, like I got slammed from NetGalley. That's supposed to be insanely good. I've heard so many things about it lately. I think it's like the next best young adult contemporary romance thing. Um, and it's about slam poetry, which is kind of cool, but I'm sort of have mixed feelings. I actually went to a slam poetry gig once. It was pretty exciting, but I don't know how I feel about the main love interest being able to, I don't know. I'm weird like that. And um, I also got, I have Avoiding Commitment. I'd love to read that. It's by um, K.A. Lindy, Lind, I don't know. Um, it has a sexy cover. And Captive in the Dark. This sounds like kind of scary. It's by C.J. Roberts. I think it's got a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome thing going on, so we'll see. Um, so thanks for watching my first vlog, and I hope I didn't make a complete fool of myself. And maybe I'll do more of these in the future, or maybe not. 
Um, and if you want to see my reviews for any of the books I talked about in August, I'll put some links down and you can check them out. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll see you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.